Three, two, one. What's up, guys? Super Duke for you, and welcome back to Skyward uh, Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword HD. Woo! Today we are going to the surface. Oh wait, uh, that would be going down to the surface. Weird how we can still see the sky though, since you know Skyloft is supposed to be a over a veil of clouds instead of like I don't I don't, I don't know. Point is I should see clouds in the sky. Master, please make sure to use your sail cloth when descending from high elevations. Failing to do so has a high probability of resulting in injury. I took the liberty of deploying the sail cloth for you this time, but in the future you can manually engage it by pressing ZR before landing. Every time you actually descend to the surface from Skyloft, it automatically does it for you. Master Link, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Ooh. Doesn't look very sealed. Oh, oh there's a seal down there. I see why now. Why? Well, I, I see why it's called that now. Ooh. New part of the map. Woo! Yay, I guess. Ooh, spiral pattern. Please proceed with caution, Master. Cool, I guess. Um. No, 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 dang it. Get out of here. Get out of here, Deku Baba. I don't like you. And whoop! Come on. Come on! I'm doing a straight swing! Sheesh! Um. Yeah, I, nope. Wow. <laughs> there we go. Get out of here. Did they drop anything? Nope. Ooh, hearts. Uh, can't get those. But I can get these. Uh, cutscene. Can you go away? I want to heal right now. Something doesn't seem right. Hmm. Ooh. Very spooky. That can't be good. Um, we're in an evil aura thing. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's like we're floating. Oh no. Well, I guess now we know what's imprisoned in the the uh, the thing. It's the Imprisoned! Yeah, really clever name, I know. <laughs> Did Link just pass out to have that nightmare or something? Or... Oh, he was just hallucinating. He wasn't dreaming. Okay. Huge difference. Ooh. Is something gonna happen? Or... This cutscene just seems like a huge waste of time right now. But I'm still gonna watch it. That was boring. Alright. Woo! There we go. Cut the grass. Woo! Ooh, a bug! Bug! Get the bug! Yay! You caught one wood woodland rhino beetle. Collectors often polish the hard carapaces of these beetles to make them tougher. It's the strongest of all the insects. Neat. This beetle. Alright, uh, is there anything else to do up here? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing special, it looks like, so I think I just go into the temple thing. Um. Hello, bye. Master, I have an information report. While, the door, while these doors appear to have been opened recently, they are now sealed shut by our powerful, unidentified force. Um, maybe it's this force thing down here? I don't know. Maybe. And whoop! And whoop! There we go. Can you 
talk anymore. Slower, my guy. Raise the sword of the goddess Sky. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. I assume it's the imprisons talking right now. Um. Uh, there we go. I think. I have sealed it temporarily or something, I don't know. Alright? Did I do something? Um, I think I just prevented whatever that is from escaping. Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by a skyward strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to Sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to you? Nah, I got it. I know how to do it. Understood, Master. Hooray! We can douse now! Hold up and select Zelda as your dowsing target, then point in the direction you wish to search. I told you I didn't need to know how it worked! I already know how it worked! Sheesh! And... There we go. Dowsing. And whoop! This is like a some kind of homing beacon thing or whatever. So it looks like we go this way! Whoop! And up and whoop! Come on! Go faster! Why are you going so slow, Link? I just feel so slow! Slower than your usual speed, Link. What's wrong? Uh, let's get the stamina fruit. There we go. And then whoop! And now, I think we can go in here. Yes! Finally! I guess that's all we needed to do to unlock the door. Cool! And now the door is open. Very pretty in here. Alright, there's a few things here. First of all, there's bird statue. Um, I would like to save. Alright, now that that's done, uh, there's this hole that's useless right now, but it'll be use- you'll know what it does later in the story. Uh, oh, oh! A bug! No! I don't have- I can only kill it because I don't have a bug net right now. I could have just let it go free, but nah. I didn't feel like it. And another thing you want to do, you definitely want to open this chest right here. Empty bo- Revitalizing potion! Woo! Not only that, it's- Once you're done with it, it's another empty bottle. Which is awesome. Looks like I got two revitalizing potions on me. Shield won't break for a while, I don't think. Hello! Mysterious lady with pendulum hair, I guess. Ah, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Okay, cool. Is that it? Oh, tell me, what is your name? It's Jay! But I named Link his actual name in this game. Link? Ah, Link. Good, very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> it is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, also that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. Okay, cool. Neat uh, skylight, by the way. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. It looks like... I guess that's why there's a huge hole here in the ceiling? Your arrival here was pre pre predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending into this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Mm -hmm. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this lane in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Mm -hmm. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue. As to you, she set out for Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Jeez, you talk a lot, lady! Show me your map. 
The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You will be traveling an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. How oh, cool! We're gonna learn ab about beacons! And there we go! Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Ah. Go now. You must head into Farron Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. Mm -hmm. I already did that, but thank you anyways. I guess. Hooray! The door magically unlocked. You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Ah. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Finally! She's done talking! Huh, could have sworn there was another, uh... Ooh! Berry! Um... Uh... I don't want to waste the vitalizing potions, though. A fairy just gives you six, uh... You found a fairy! This playful sprite replenishes six of your hearts. And if you capture it in a bottle, it'll d give it to you automatically upon dying. I do hope you are able to catch up with Zelda. And also, sitting in a seat in this game actually slowly heals you, which is awesome. Alright, now let's go! Woo! Finally! Cool. Well, there's the beacon. Um, cutscene? Can you go away now? Well, that was a pointless cutscene. Um, take away the beacon because I don't actually need it. Oh, I don't have bug net yet! I can use it to catch birds to get the feather uh, ingredient thing. Ooh, a bug! Out of the way, scram! Alright, first priority, bug. Because bug. Second priority, climb up this! Because I can, I guess. Um... Let's go this way. I believe this will. Aha! It is a shortcut to the to where I just was from here. Now you don't have to go. Now I don't have to go through the temple just to get to Farron Woods from the sealed grounds anymore. Woohoo! Minor shortcut, but whatever. All right, now get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Hey, stop! Stop blocking my! Stop blocking my swings! Come on. Come on. Hang it. There we go. There we go. Yeah! Woo! Whew, thanks for jumping in to the rescue me, bud. Woohoo! I saved a Goron! Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. I know about those, but thank you anyways. Um, okay, he's just going to keep hey. explaining anyways. Hey, bud, I'm Gorko the Goron. I'm researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there's some kind of place above called the Isle of the Goddess. Four up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from this isle of the goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special, it is, it is, as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. Mm. The whole thing th sounds a little crazy, I know, but I for one believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It is a real head scratch, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it not? Mmm, sorry, but I already... Oh, that's so, bud. I was hoping to tell you more, but I guess it can wait. Yeah, I already know about these. But thank you anyways. Woo! There goes the boss! Whoa! <laughs> what in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? The statue reacted to the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Very crazy. And now, we have the option to go to the sky if we need to. Um, 
Hi, Can we use the amiibo yet? Nope. Looks like we can't. Um, for now, I'm gonna go to the sky! Woo! <laughs> Whee! Yay! Back to the skies! And, um... Ooh, red rupee! Give me that, red rupee bird! Give me it! Give me it! No, I missed! Ah, whatever. Back to the sur back to the ground, the surface. Oh, also, a report master. It is possible to descend to a specific bird statue on the surface after you have already visited it, and I have memorized its location. To do this, point to the area you want to descend to with with the arrow and press A to confirm your destination. Cool. Um, let's go behind the temple. <laughs> I didn't even push the button. Oh, the Goron guy's gone. Oh, no, no, never mind. There's two bugs! Twice the amount of bugs! Nice. Um, hello. According to some of the ancient texts I've read, there's a place way up in the sky called the... You already said this. Um, nope, nope. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Go away. Oh, wait. He stays there. I, I was going to go. I don't know why I want him to go. Master, now that you have access to the stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back to where you left. Ah? Please call me anytime you would like to use an amiibo. You can also enable or disable amiibo usage from the options. Why would I ever disable it? It's super useful! Whee! Uh... Well, now that- well, since I have the amiibo, I have no use for actually, um... I have no use for the actual statues other than to save now. Yeah, Alright, let's go a bit farther into the woods. Pretty far away from those statues. Master, you have entered Theron Woods. Mm-hmm. Cool. Very pretty forest. Very pretty woods, I guess. I don't know. And... Plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. Ooh, sparkly mushroom! It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the, this region. Ray! More of the map! Fair on woods! And this area will expand a little more as we continue the story! Same with the other three areas that we're visiting later. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. I recommend you continue, continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. Uh-huh. Cool. And walk by the statue to autosave. And whoop! Yeah! Hmm. No, 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 no! Get out of the fire! Okay. Eef. They didn't explode on me. Also, if those trees are glowing like that, if, if you hit the glowy part, you get a rupee. Sometimes, like, a blue one or a red one, maybe. I don't know. Alright, um... Get out of the way, you stupid trees! There we go. Oh, no! Those... Those mean bokoblins are... are... Are being mean to this poor innocent creature! And get out of here. There we go. And give me that heart. Alright. You are safe! Hello! Plant like creature. Uh, you okay? Huh? It's gone quiet. <laughs> I guess. Should I follow? Wait a minute. Ah, Zelda's that way. Okay. Okay. We're going the right direction. Whoop! There we go. And give me that stamina fruit. Nice. Ah, there's the gl there's the sparkly mushroom. Uh oh. 
Oh no! Wait, no! I'm not I'm not evil, I'm friendly! Hmm. You know what? I don't know. I was gonna show off uh something you can do with the sparkly mushrooms, but you kinda need an empty bottle for it. For it to be useful. Um there we go. Got that rid of that thing. I don't know why I did that. But I could. Um, hmm. I am going to place a beacon right here because there is a bombable wall that I can t deal with later. Once I have unlocked bombs. I detected an exceptionally strong dowsing response in this area. You should continue searching the vicinity. Alright, alright. Fine. Whatever. And up, up, up. Wait, what? Why am I going this way all of a sudden? Oh, it's the creature. No, oh, there goes the sparkles of the mushroom. I think. Yep, there they go. Uh, up, up. Hmm. Find this mushroom. Hello! Yay! There we go! Go away from the mushrooms! Well, well don't actually run away, because I still need you. Hello! Come back, please! I'm gonna roll into this and make that ball. Ooh, rupee! And... A, nope. That one didn't drop anything. Dang it. Hey! A heart! Nice! There we go! Alright, real quick, let's push this down so I don't forget. Ooh, an amber relic! Finally! Woohoo! You got an amber relic! These amber colored chunks of precious stone are found everywhere! No one knows where their strange shape comes from. Yay! Ooh, I got four beetles. Nice. Um, now let's go back here to talk to you. Hello! It's Body Man! Quee! Huh? You don't want to eat me? Quee! Come to think of it, why'd you fight off all those red monsters? Quee! Well, you... I'm Machi, I'm a Kikwi. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird. Kiku? A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. Who? I don't know who she was, but she seemed to be in big trouble when I saw her. She a friend of yours, Quick! A pack of those mean red guys were after her, Quick! But she escaped the Kikwi Elder! Uh-oh. Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. The Kikwi is not your new master, Fi. Stop talking to it. This information indicates that she was assailed by monsters, but somehow escaped evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I have marked the position of the Kiku known as Ma Machi. Please confirm your current location. I believe. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kiku most likely produces a false positive dowsing reaction due to the previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kiwi Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. I propose you continue dowsing to search for Zelda. Alright, fine. You really spooked me, Quick! You keep some very strange company, friend. Keep bleep! It sounds like you're set on finding this friend in the Elder. If you're heading that way anyways, keep. Would you mind telling your Elder that I'm safe? Cheer up, Kweep! I bet your friend is safe with our Elder! Okay. Um... Hmm. I believe now we are allowed to go up here. <laughs> since, uh, we got rid of a, a false positive dowsing thing, I think. Um, now we can explore more of this area! Alright, get out of here! Alright, oh, it's an Octorok. Uh, a kit, and... There we go! That's how you defeat an Octorok in this game. Boom! <laughs> Wait, isn't that how you defeat Deku Scrubs in Ocarina of Time? Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that was not knocked her up, but a bug came out of it. Weird. 
whatever. Um, well, actually, it's not weird, because that's where bugs normally live, probably. Yeah, I have a problem. Stab, stab, stab. Dang it. There we go. Dang it, I was trying to do a finishing move. Ooh, blue rupee. Hello. Give me that, please. Amber relic. Give me that. Thank you. Another bacoblin. Get out of here. There we go. Finally. Alright, uh... Let's see. I want to go... No, not that way. Um... Get out of here. Ooh, there's some light up here. I don't think there's actually any points being over there. Um... It looks like I can roll this down. Ooh, another statue! And an amber relic. Nice. Nope. Get out of here. Get out of here. For a second there, I thought this guy was going to be very formidable. But nope, not really. There we go. I think I just activated the statue. And then up. No, no. There we go. This way! Whee! Get, get out of the way, trees. Alright, uh... Octorok. Octorok, check. Nope. Yep. Boom. Ooh, two of those fruit thingies. Aw, oh, red rupee, but I can't reach it! Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to go across the tightrope. Ah, there's the elder. There we go. And whoop! Yay! Alright. Uh, hello! Kwee! I am Butcher the Kiwi Elder. I, s I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage. Kwee, you are a master woodsman. You are clearly a master woodsman. Others like you? What? You say you met some of my people, Kwee? Kwee, so much is safe, eh? Ah, uh, but the monsters, they are still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave the spot. And you're looking for one of your lost people as well? Hmm, yes. At one point during the monster panic here, I did speak with a blonde girl of your kind, Queen. But now is not the time for such talk. The forest is full of monsters, and I am worried about my missing tribe. Queen. The shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. Three Kikwis are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they are safe, Queen? I am worried sick of my fellow Kikwis. If you could calm my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the girl you seek went off to, Queen. Dang, that Zelda is no longer with the Kiki Elder is an unfortunate setback, but he may still have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate an 85% probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikwis for the Elder. To expedite your search for these forest dwelling features, I have added Kikwis as a dowsing option. Cool! Do you need me to explain how to switch dowsing targets? Nope. Don't. Additionally, I will mark any Kikwis you discover on your map and disable dowsing readings for them. That way you will not revisit the same Kikwis. This concludes my explanation. When ready, please begin your search for the missing Kikwis. And that is about all the time I have for this episode. This was really fun. Ooh, fairy. But uh, that's going to have to do it for this video. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like and feel free to favorite. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't upload new videos. Let me know in the comments below what you guys like me as well as what you want to see for the future. Check out my social media links in the description. I can see you later. Bye!